Hi guys, Al Shan here from AlShanMarketing.com. Today is our day one for our five video series. Today I'm going to share with you how to get on top of Google search results when somebody is looking for your business. So let me show you what I mean. So here I typed Italian restaurant near me because that's usually what people do when they go on Google and trying to find an Italian restaurant and you press enter and then this shows up. The Google Maps and then three local businesses and your goal is to be right in here in the three pack because people usually will click either this one this one or that one they're not going to click on more places and then scroll down so here you see a picture of this person's restaurant and a picture here and a picture here to be honest none of these pictures look enticing to me they all look dark and they're not clear enough we'll get back we'll get into that later in, a, in the next few weeks today I'm gonna cover on how to create your Google business page which is this right here and it's something Google started from 2014 and it's absolutely free but a lot of business owners don't even know about it but they know about Yelp because they've been around for a while but look, Yelp doesn't even show up until all the way down here. So I don't know why business owners are not taking advantage of this because this is what people click. They don't go down here. So anyways, just wanted to show that and our goal is to get on top of here in the next few weeks. So day one is going to be about claiming your business and how to get a Google My Business page. So Go to Google and type GMB page, stands for Google My Business page, and hit enter. And then your top one, which says Google My Business, and then the bottom in the green says Google.com, you click on that, and sometimes the ad shows up. If there's an ad that shows up, don't click on that. It'll take you to Yahoo or some other page. But this time it didn't, so you just click on top one right here and then you end up here next thing you want to do is sign in which is on top there and I'm gonna use this email address because I don't have a Google business page on that one and I click next so basically you just put in your email address and then you end up here it's asking you what is the name of your business so here you put in whatever your business name is so let's just say you put Al Shan marketing you see my since my business already been claimed it shows up but just for to show you guys I'm just gonna type Al Shan marketing 2 that way it won't show up and it will allow me to go next so you type your business name there and you click next and then it says do you want to add a location customers can visit like a store or office so if you're a contractor or you have a business that you work from home over here you want to put no right because you don't want people to visit your store which is your home but if you do have a, if it's a restaurant or if it's a business, you have a business address, you want to click on yes. I want to add a location customers can visit like a store office. So we we'll click yes and we go next. But remember, if you don't, if you're working from home, just click no and follow the instructions. And then here we just put our address, whatever. We don't care right now. City, let's say Dana. Dana Point. Doesn't matter right now. State, California. But you want to put your actual address. But I'm just doing this for showing purposes. 
nine, two, six, seven, five. Let's just say that. After you put your address, you click next. And then he asks you, where are you located? Drag and zoom. So he wants to find exactly where you located. So I'm just gonna say I'm right here and I go, but you wanna find your actual, because sometimes when you put in the address, it might be a little off. So that's why you wanna make sure you zoom in and find the actual location of where your office or your business is. And then you click next. And then it says, do you also serve customers outside this location? Here's a, an important trick that I use. I always say yes, I also serve them outside my location because you want to show up uh, a little bit more broader. So when people, when you, so let's say you're located in Dana Point and someone from Mission Viejo is trying to find a, uh, I don't know, insurance broker or a restaurant, you want to kind of be a little bit broader so you can catch that audience as well. So I put yes, I also serve them outside my location. And then here it says, add the areas you serve, optional. But I want to, so this is what, I, what I'm talking about. So let's say my business is in Dana Point. I want to type San Juan Capistrano. I want to type Capo Beach. Because these are all neighborhood cities, right? Dana Point. You get the point. You want to put at least five or six close cities to your uh, business address that will help you again to broaden your area so you show up more on the Google search result. And then you hit next. And then here is a very important factor. So let's say if I am a um, restaurant, okay, I wanna make sure that my business category is restaurant. But even more specific, let's see, it says bar, restaurant. Okay, so actually restaurants won't come up as a category. I think you gotta put actually what kind of restaurant it is. So let's say I'm an Italian restaurant. There we go. That's it. So if I'm an Italian restaurant, I wanna make sure I put Italian restaurant. If you wanna, if you are, it, it wants you to be specific. So if you are a pizza shop, then you want to make sure you type pizza restaurant, right? Because if you don't, then you're not going to show up when somebody types pizza restaurant or pizza delivery. If you focus mostly on just pizza delivery and that's all you care about, then choose that as your category because it'll help you come up when somebody types pizza delivery. So that's a very important fact that you want to remember. If you make a mistake here and you want to change it, you can change it later in your account after you claim it. So for now, let's just say that I'm an Italian restaurant. Okay, and I hit next. And then it wants your phone number. So here you put in your business number or whatever number you want to use. This gets a little tricky. You can't change it easily. Then they're gonna later ask you to uh, either uh, reconfirm your business. Basically, they're gonna send you another code. Sometimes they don't, but for business name, if you change it later, they definitely will. Uh, then you have to reconfirm it. So make sure that you have the right phone number that you wanna use. You put it in here. Let's just say, Put this and then current website. This I would not recommend. I would not recommend connecting your website unless your website is done well and the title and everything in your website, the SEO is done correctly. Because if it's not, then it's not going to help you show up well. So I would just say, uh, just click on get a free website based on your info. You can just click that 
or if you have if you don't want a website say I don't need a website but I would just say do to get a free website based on your info because that that is cool you can create a website inside uh, your page or if you do have a website that you feel like it's doing good and uh, the business domain name is the same like let's say if you're an Italian restaurant then somewhere in your domain name it says uh, Italian restaurant or in your title in your meta description I don't want to get too technical so just for now uh, put click on get a free website just to make sure and then you click next and then you hit finish okay and it just goes and generates it and then here it, it says your contact name and to claim it you got to put a contact name so you just put your name and you click on mail I don't want to do that because this is not really a business and actually I think right now it did create one so I gotta figure out how to delete it so basically that's it you put in your contact name and you click on mail and then it will mail a code a verification code that you need to put in to claim your business so you wait a few days and after you get that envelope with the code you come back in and you add that to your Google business page to claim it so that was it for the first part of this video series I hope you enjoyed it and if you're just watching this from YouTube and you would like to get on this video series this free video series go on my website and I will create an opt-in page on my home page so you can put in your name and email address and start receiving all these videos for free thank you for watching until next time don't let fear get in the way